Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep, and you're watching Zeepa Nation. Uh, today I'm playing some Minecraft. Um, wild, right? Um, just made this world just now. Um, kind of shopped around a little bit. Found found one that I could tolerate the spawn. Um, but otherwise, a brand new world. Yeah, and let's just kind of get into it. Um, I mean, first day of the well, playthrough, I suppose. Um, just kind of like resource gathering, kind of maybe maybe like looking around, seeing where we want to build a base. Um, probably, yeah, we're going to get some iron this episode, I'm sure. Um, and just kind of seeing what happens. This is a more relaxed playthrough. Um, I feel like most of my episodes are pretty relaxed, but uh, more relaxed playstyle, um, lightly edited streams, uh, but yeah, let's just kind of see, see where we go with this. Let's see, crafting table, make a few sticks, uh, let's do a pick, We can probably wait on an axe just a little bit longer here. Um, we do want some stone first. Um, probably gather some wood. I'm thinking maybe like a stack of wood before we go down. And of course we do need torches as well. Uh, we're not sure how long we're going to be underground for. Um, most of the time when I start off, I primarily focus on resource gathering first and then base building. Um, as I feel like most people should. But just getting a couple furnaces worth of... Um, oh, that's actually really good. A um, couple furnaces worth of uh, uh, cobblestone here. Just so we can probably start smelting um, some logs, get some charcoal. Although this coal is a um, pretty big early start as well. Uh, let's, yeah. Let's just upgrade our pickaxe right now. Let's actually make two of those. And get rid of that. So I have been playing Minecraft for quite a while. Um, I started playing Minecraft back in like pre-alpha. Um, so quite a few years ago. Um, I've played most of the uh, bigger updates. Like uh, the uh, Caves and Cliffs one. Um, I think that was the last big one. Um, I played for a solid few months, but then kind of like dropped out of again. Uh, just really one of those things, I feel. But no, I really do love the game. Um, and it feels good to get back into it, you know. Uh, I am playing with a couple of mods. Um, nothing too crazy, of course. I have one mod that has a... Um, Inventory like auto sort on it, so I can like do that, sort my hot bar, sort my inventory. Um and then I really think that's actually it for mods now that I think about it. Alright, now with some light deforestization, um and a little bit of charcoal generation. Should be set on wood. Let's see if I can just yeah, that seems, that should honestly be pretty perfect for me now. Um, I do have a couple of sheep over there. Um, I think it'd be very much in my interest to, to shear those and get like a super early bed as well. Just because I know I, um, rather not have to hide away during the nighttime. Um, and if I could just sleep through... Yes, all the bad stuff. 
be super beneficial. Um, if only we can find one more... You're not a sheep. If only we can find one more sheep. Oh, right there. Perfect. I believe that brings us, yep, to three wool exactly. Oh, <laughs> it's like I already grew it back. Uh, let's see, so boom, boom. Perfect. Save that for later. Grab this now, because I'm not quite sure if we're even going to be coming back here. Um, suppose we can grab these as well. Save us a little bit of resources. Let's actually jump. Hmm, do I want to go down or do I want to? You know, there is a, um, looks like there's a jungle biome over here. So actually, let's, let's check that out. What are my coordinates? Oh. Uh, what am I looking at? Pretty much, I'm pretty much exactly at zero, zero right now. So. I guess we'll keep that in mind in case we ever need to come back here. I'm not sure why we would. But, ooh. Eggs, too. Real good finds. I think, I think this might be, might be our world, honestly. Pretty early start, but, you know, it's... It's got good bones, you know? You can just feel it. Early eggs for our chicken farm, um have our bed already made. Speaking of which, can just skip the first night entirely. Don't have to hide away in a cave or anything. Almost feels like you're doing something wrong, doesn't it? So, where did that jungle go? I already got so turned around. Um, suppose I can climb up the hill and get better vantage point. Actually, we seem to have come across a cave system, too. Well. Not bad. Oh, I kind of wish I didn't... ...and just jump in here without looking first. Let's see. Let's, yes, let's get some torches ready here. So I'm not about to go fight anything in the dark. Nope. Wonderful. Do we have some coal over there? A pretty cool ravine. Should be able to find some good resources down here. And this looks to be, oh, maybe not quite yet. I thought this was going to be a dead end. Oh. Couple more pieces of coal never hurt. Wonderful. So let's uh, let's take a look up here, um, just because I know that there is a jungle somewhere. Hope hopefully we can find a um, like one of those like uh, treasure rooms, right? Like the the temple. Get some pretty pretty easy loot from that. Oh, and unfortunately, I don't seem to have any food on me. I mean, not really. 
Looks like uh, we have an early sacrifice over here, though. Come on. I do love that you can get mutton from from sheep now. I do like that addition. Definitely gonna gonna get the the melon uh, because we do want a um, watermelon farm. Uh, we can probably get that pretty pretty early on now. Some cocoa beans as well. I ooh I do need the tree to do anything with those, don't I? Would be nice if those grew on any tree, but I mean, I kind of understand where they're coming from there. Now, hopefully I don't get too turned around here, but at the same time, again, we don't have a base camp, so shouldn't really matter too much. Um, seeing some bamboo over there. I can't tell if I'm seeing anything of interest, but we may as well just double check to make sure. Yeah, I think, I think that's going to be a wash. Um, let's just continue on with, with the original intended plan. Uh, let's just venture out, I suppose, uh, find a decent ish area. Um, I'm thinking probably. Honestly, I think right here. Now that I say that, nice, relatively flat. Got some mountains over there. Very, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, we do have a structure over here. It looks like a portal end frame. Um, so this is some pretty early game obsidian as well. Yeah, all in all, I think this is a pretty good place. Oh... Yes, actually, um, wait, two obsidian? Not quite enough to finish this. But we, actually, we could get pretty close. Um, boom. Uh, I just need one more. Um, if only we had a bucket or some water, honestly. Could finish that right now. Yeah, why not? Ooh, and a decent size looking cave opening as well. Um, yeah, I think, I think we just found our, our starter base. Let me just light up the area just a little bit before I go back to sleep here. Don't want anything too unfriendly getting too close to me quite so early on. Yeah. Where is... right there. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and let's actually leave the bed here. Um, I think we've pretty successfully saved our spawn point location. Um, we only know we're going to need it soon. Um, let's make, let's make a few chests. Suppose make a base storage system, just kind of like dump everything here. And that's obnoxious. Boom, boom. Oh, I can't, I can't just drop everything in. Must have been a mod that I was using to do that. Um, I can, however, quick sort. So time, uh, so much time saved right there. Although, I want that and that. Oh, hello, sir. Do I have... I have food on me, too. Cool. Yeah, I think we should be set. Yeah, 
end of that tunnel. Did find a couple of coal. See if we can light this up a little bit. Oh, I uh, do have another mod pack on. Um, it shows me light levels. So that's that's really kind of the big one for me. Um, just being able to quick sort inventory and to know for a fact that nothing bad can spawn when I don't want it to. Huge burden off my off my chest. My plate. I am at lack of burden. I am burdenless. Let's see, you got some iron I see. I actually could just finish up the portal now if I really wanted to. But I don't really see any point running to um run into the nether quite so soon. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Gosh. This guy have auto aim on? When did they get so good? That was like a 40% chance of hit, um, of missing. I wanted him to hit the, hit the zombie. So then I really only need, there we go. Wasted way too much, uh, way too many hit points trying to line that one up. Uh, let's just light this up a little bit here. Then backtrack. So far, so good. Uh, have a pretty good starting location, and we have pretty decent resources so far. Um, early cave system, I feel, is also higher on my priority list, just because I hate having tr to try and like strip mine like the first night. No one enjoys that. Um, should be able to find diamond this day. Um, I can't imagine a world where we wouldn't be able to. Just get a couple more of these so we're at a full stack at least. Yeah, because if we can get full stack or close to of coal, we should be great on torches for the rest of this, um this cave system. Yeah, because I have nearly an entire stack of logs still. Nope. Let's do... Yeah. Turn all of those into torches. Um, and then let's, mm, yeah, maybe about half. Feels good to me. Now, is that actually the end of the cave system? I'm right. Really kind of was hoping for more. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe not. Yeah, so I guess right here seems like as good a place as any to start mining. Oh. <laughs> uh, just like that, we do end up finding diamond. Alright, so first diamond. Um, where are we exactly? We are 
negative 10. Honestly, I think we should just stay on this level for a bit longer. Um, just kind of like see what else is on, on uh, this level of stuff. I don't quite remember what the ideal uh, level is anymore. I think it used to be 32. Um, I think they've changed that though. Um, I'll, I'll look that up maybe later though. Um, but for right now, I think negative 10 sounds as good as any to me. Ooh, and we do have more iron. Uh, did need that pretty badly as our pickaxe is actually about to start breaking any second now. Oh, I don't. I do have tool tips on. Yeah, five. Well, we've got a couple resources here. I think we can start building our base. Um, at least just like the the very basic foundations of it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for yet. I was thinking maybe like a castle build. It works something like that. Um, I do enjoy building in cave systems as well. Um, I, I kind of liked like the raw um, aesthetic feel of things mixed with the like manifest destiny kind of like um, alterations, if that makes any sense. Simplicity, really. I suppose the next next step would be to build a little hovel. Now I did originally kind of want to just build right here, but but now that I look that hillside right there actually seemed pretty nice. I could put a house right on top of that. I think that would be a Pretty swell plan there. So let's just get some base resources here and kind of venture off in this direction. I think this is the move. I like the view from here and the ocean right there. I like the village there a lot. I can't wait to to sack that. Um, could build an adjoining base over there, honestly. I really do like, like the thought of that. But for right now, I think I dubbed the claimed. I'll be right there. So that'll just be a, a reminder for, for future me to come back here. Build a nice establishment on top of that. Um, in the meanwhile, I think I do want to check out this village, though. I suppose this would be the alternative location. Oh. The lava pit right there. Could be a good source of early lava. Not that I think we really need an auto smelter or anything right now. Oh. That's interesting. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it looks like almost a natural moat. Natural dam. More fire. Yes, we'll we'll let them we'll let them be right now. They don't need to know uh, of our existence quite yet. Yeah, well we'll let them be. For now, the important part is to establish my uh, my kingdom over them. I think it's very important to have them know who their ruler is. Uh, beforehand. Yes, I think I think this will do quite nicely. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of like 
level this off. Not entirely. Not gonna... Not gonna level off the entire thing, but just kind of like the higher points. Um, so then I can better build the foundation of the, the, the house I plan on making. Um, pretty small house for right now. Um, the real goal is just to have like a storage locker basically. Um, and then expand it upwards and outwards as, as I progress, as you naturally do. But nothing too impressive as of right now. I do like this like little, this natural pathway here. So I think I'll actually kind of leave that in and kind of incorporate that into my build here. But I've kind of arbitrarily set this as the foundation level already. So I think I'll go with that. Um, that being said, I think, I think right here seems to be as good a place as any to start. Oh, and it is getting dark out, so gotta butcher a couple of sheep quick. If I can just avoid every single uh, night cycle, I don't see any reason not to. Ooh, it might be a little bit late for that plan. Is this just gonna work? Oh my god, it actually worked. Ah, uh, sucker. Oh, still alive. up for that. Yep, that would be a real bad day if I fell in that. Alright. Um, you might have seen me uh, walking around and Playing torches near all these X's. Uh, if I haven't mentioned this already, um, if I push F7, I do have a resource pack on. Um, well, it's a mod pack. It's a client side mod pack that does show me the light level. So blue means that mobs will spawn there once it's nighttime. Uh, yellow means that mobs can spawn um, under certain certain conditions i believe and then red means that they can actively spawn right now um so just making sure that we are fairly mob proof uh moving forward not like a huge issue or anything but just when i see it take care of it um so we do have quite a bit going on here um I do kind of want like a longhouse style build for right now, um, but I am realizing pretty quickly that I think I I bit off a bit more than I can chew, um, at least for right now, just because we don't have very many resources. Seems kind of strange to be starting an actual base build this soon. Um, I usually wait probably until like the third or so day to like find the most idealized spot to build. Um, okay, you're my cow now. Um, but no, something just really 
kind of calling to me about this spot right here. And you know, when when you're right, you're right. Let's see, so... Big question is exactly what's on my mind right now. Um, I really don't know. I'm just kind of... Just kind of going with what feels right. I think... I think what feels right is... Condensing this build significantly so I can focus on it later. Because this is... This is not gonna happen this episode. Not in a long shot. It's probably right there. And I do want a door. Um, one, two, three, door. One, two, three, four. Did I count right? Well, that's three off. And if this is a corner, then that's center. Hmm. I see, I see an error in my ways. So that's moved over by two. This move over by two. One, two, three, four, one, two, four, shown. Yeah, we are quite a bit short on cobblestone at the moment. So I'm thinking, first of all, gotta sleep. Because we're not about to, uh, not about to do that. Let's actually move our spawn location back to inside of this uh, makeshift build. Respawn point set. I'm thinking that we kind of killed two birds with one stone here while we we gather some we gather some stone um but we also kind of dig out this cave system a little bit as well kind of like um solidify some of those features that we liked about like the curviness um and potential like uh branching paths because we are above that village that I saw. And I think it would be really cool to, to kind of like work out a system. Maybe like an elevator or something to easily transport some of those villagers up to the base. Because um, we're going to abduct a few people. I mean, we're just being honest here. <clears throat> so, kind of like work out like detours and branching paths and... Kind of like a system, I think. I think would be pretty idealized here. With that, we, well, we've added a roof at least. Not quite the finishing touches by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but we have a roof, we have doors, um, have a spawn point. But I think that's actually going to be the end of this episode. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how I want these episodes to play out. Um... Because Minecraft is a different beast entirely, I feel. Like, there's a lot of emptiness. Like, not emptiness. Wow, that sounds very <laughs> very high school of me. Um, just so empty. No, it's... Uh, Minecraft has, like, a lot of, like, 
building and mining aspects to it. So I feel like a lot of jump cuts or like a lot of like fast forwards or maybe like montages are necessary, um, which isn't typically my go-to style of editing and condensing information. So it's very new to me. It's very new to try and like work in good edits and try and figure out exactly what to say when I do say stuff. Um, but please tell me what you think about this episode. Um, if you made it this far, I really would like to hear your feedback. Um, kind of like see like what direction we want to take this in. Um, I do have like, uh, like game goals, I suppose I can say. Like, you know, the big ones defeat the Ender Dragon, defeat the Wither, and stuff like that. But I also do really enjoy like the automation of the game, like uh, villager trading and like redstone components. I do love all that stuff as well. So, like, comment, share, hit the bell, all that fun stuff, um, and send me some ideas of things that you want to see me do next. Um, this game or others. And thank you again so much, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.